Welcome back to my Minecraft tutorial on the mod Tinker's Construct Part 3. Sorry if that's wrong. Now, you've discovered all of that stuff and you're probably thinking, what else can there be? Well, there's such little things. Now, in your survival inf infantry, you get this new little tab. Now, in here, you get this. Now, not all of these are implemented. I'm not sure how many is implemented after looking at the screen. It's been a while since I checked. But you get these, okay? These heart containers. What these do is they give you more health. So if I have 10, which I do believe is the maximum you can have at once, and you put them in here, I watch my heart. See that? Now I'll have 20 health. Now that's nice. I'll show you the recipe in a minute, but let's just try something because it's got a thinking. Let's try another 10. I don't think you can do that. When the last one going out? Oh, that's parked. I know it's only got 10. Whoops, Daisy. My fault. It's not bugs. Non bugs. <laughs> Other than 11. I don't think you can do this personally. No, you can even just stack it. So, here. Yeah. Now, the recipe to those is this. Now, we need a jeweled heart apple, which is four diamonds around the jewel. Okay. Then we need a heart. You get that by killing mobs. That is just some iron. Well, Aluminum, I mean aluminium, or some tin around the bone. And the necrotic bone you get by killing wither skeletons in the nether. And then you finally got that, and it takes a while to get a 10. And then you get here, you get this little knapsack, which you can put in here. And now you can. There you go. You're in no infantry, so let's have a look at something. If I go like that, if I stick these in here. I'm not sure on this, so I wasn't going to say, but instead of just saying, let's try. If you die, if you die, let's go really high. Ah! Ah! Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> let's just take off the extra hearts and all, and the armor. Now, let's get back into the sky. But that's kind of good I've done, as you can see how good that makes you. Now, if you go in the eye and go, ah, and you die. I still had the effect of the hearts on. How hard can it be just to die? I will die! <laughs> the guy isn't invincible. So you go die in, you respawn. Yeah, as I thought. All your stuff falls out your back. Which I think is good balance. Get that gravestone. Get my stuff back. Let's remove that more that. Move that now. Let's just sit myself back up a minute. What? That was weird, wasn't it? And then your bag goes in here, then your hearts go in there. And then you come back in, then you've got this extra slot, and you can pop some gear in there. Which is wicked. Then you've got your armor on. Now you're ready to mine. You've got a backpack. You've got your Tinker's Construct tools that I've destroyed. You've got your Tinker's Construct tools you can mine like forever. You've got loads of ha- you got loads of health. When it charges up. You've got your bag. You're really looking hard. Are you ready for action? 
What more can you have? Well, there is actually more. What do we have in here now? Let's see. We're in Exo Shield. Exo Shield. Well, there's a recipe. I didn't realize this was in there, so I'll check. I'll just check. I'll have to come back to you on that, I'm sorry to say. I'll come back to you on the Exo Shoe and these other stuff. I shall check in a minute. I should have checked that before and I didn't realize. Whoops. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. I've done a bit of research. I need to do some more, but there's some things that made me realize so I can show you that. Now, we've got a nice wall here. Now, let's go in here. No, we won't go in here. I'm gonna lie. Get some wood. Get your wood. Go like that. Then you get your slabs. Get your slabs. And go like that. Then, I'll make a little ridiculous amount. Then we've got these things here, which are dry max. Now, if you get to dry max, and just go along like that. Now, let's go that. Now what we need is, now, on here we've got this gluttonous slime drop, so what you do is... Oh, oh. <gasps> yeah, yeah, phew. You get gluttonous slime, which tastes terrible. What was it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay, now you go in here. <laughs> You get your slime because Tinker's Construct adds mods, mommy mobs, and these mobs. So that is it. Drop slime balls, which you can eat, and you can also put them on here. You can pop them on here, and over time they turn into this and you can eat this too which is a lot better than that food okay there's another food source now we have your beef chicken bacon bacon and of course pork mutton and fish now so that means if you go in here and go F-I-S-H I don't go in here online if you've got a fish, oh, good. I'd imagine more. You get some fish. Let's get some beef. Probably beef. I mean, probably. Was it human flesh? Okay, beef. Get some herbal chicken. And some pork. You stick them on here. They'll turn into machines. They'll turn into stuff and wood. Two seconds. So they will cut. They just have to check that is right. They take five minutes to do it. So now they will convert across to different jerkies, as you can see. Here we've got beef, which is cow obviously chicken is chicken bacon would be pork mutton oh no 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 we don't have to do that recipe it recipe it mutton <gasps> that would be lamb so if you kill sheep you get lamb and fish is obviously the fish one and monster jerky is who knows is zombie f zombie flesh. You put zombie flesh on there and you that's when I use it all. And you get that kind of jerky. There's another food source. Which is all good. Now that was supposed to take me a lot longer. Now here too you get these, you get some wood armour So I didn't know it existed, but I do now. Oh. 
must want to discover things of this as I go on now. Let's take this armor off. Let's have a look at my heart. Let's put that on. Let's go into survival. Let's give that team because that's better. We can see it on the bottom now. That's half. Why the diamond be a wonder? It's not bad as well. I have a minimum say that. Let's just put it all on. You look like a silly sausage, but there we go. It's only free armor, but if you're dying for, for dying for armor, it's all broke. It's stuck in the middle of nowhere. You can't smoke no smoke no war. There's mobs coming at you. Grab some wood quickly. Dive into the ground and make some armor. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I suppose. Saying that, when we're just when we're here, let's have a look a sec. That's not what we want to look at. Go in here. Early ATH. One of them. One of them. One of them. Let's do a bit of comparison, say. Okay, let's flip back. That's half a heart. That's half a heart. So they're both exactly the same. That's a heart. That's a heart and a half. So overall, it is better armor than leather. But easier to get. Armor and leather is three and a half. And wood is three. So there's only half more and it's a bit of wood, so if you can deal with that little less half, I'd get the wood personally, but there we go. There's an interesting fact for you. Now let's do that bin all of that, pop these on here. Get all of that and that and that and that. Now what else we've got up here? Oh yeah, two you get also around the world. Let's have a look. You get these here. Explain to you what they are in a minute. Okay, you get these rendering under caves. You get here. I've got. Four. Just make some coat here. Okay, you get these here. That's good enough. You get these here. If you find underground, as you can see, you can only grid them underground. Now we've got a iron. I know what I'm doing, actually. You get an iron. Or berry, and you get gold, and you get copper. That's copper again. Get tin, aluminium, and you get essence. Okay. Now, obviously, these are all ones. Take like the obvious close mark. What they give you is iron ore berries. When you smelt them, you get nuggets. So you're going to need a lot of these. And you'll find them. They're all cool though. A little helpful thing. But the essence berry... You get essence concern. Essence. You right click on it. You get... Oh, you can't see my experience. I'm going to show you. You get experience. Obviously it ran out because I only had... That was one. But let's just spawn the load in. Which is nice, you can grow experience. A little OP you can say, but... Heck. You see what happens when I put it on hard mode. So, no. Nah. I think it's all balanced perfectly fine, considering how lethal the world is. Before you find your house, you can be level 30. There's that many flipping mobs in the game now. Well, 
There is when you've got like 200 old mods installed like I have at the moment, but still. Makes a bit of a difference. Oh no. So there guys, but for some reason Minecraft crashed. Clearly I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Something with this mod pack on so well. So the mod this mod pack Tinker's Construct also adds some mobs, you get. You get slimes, blue slimes, then you get slime. Which does not fit there. And you get King Slime. And if you want to know if you get any what you get for killing King Slime, that's for you to discover. I'm not gonna be with that. Okay, now let's look back to peaceful and get rid of those. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. That does more research and we'll get into that in a minute. Okay, we've got these here. Now what these are is it's not what I expected. I bet it's kind of giveaway if you look at my infantry but still I didn't think of that. Okay, this one here is made by bronze plates and it goes on your head. And this will give you ten percent more health. Yes, we'll look at that in a minute actually. Don't know how many tower, but yeah. It gives you ten percent more health. Okay, and the chest piece. The chest piece gives you uh, that gives you not back if you like that kind of thing. The leggings, they give you ten percent attack bonus. And the boots give you a hundred and fifty percent speed. Okay, this might be different with this version or another version, because this is a um, work in progress. This armor. As you see, it definitely speeds you up. Does increase speed? Slow down speed. So yeah. There we go. And that's what that is. Let's get my armor on. Oh yeah, something I didn't tell you. There's one thing I don't see the point. Yes, it gives you those bonus. Big deal. I mean, funny to Mordor for a game, but this is what I think is silly. I have no armor. Unless you've got a high enchant level, the website don't say, but that's for you guys to try. That's probably a trick or to it. I don't know. I don't see the point in that personally. But there we go. And that's that. Now we have pig ingots too. Now to make a pig ingot, what you do is you destroy that. You obviously don't, but you destroy that because it's you. So we all know. Let's place that back in. No. Sorry. So guys getting lag and I'm being silly. Okay. For picking it we need is some emeralds. Oh no, no do that. Some emeralds. Let's grab a blur. Let's just grab a couple of blocks. Stick that in stick that in there. Then you want some iron. It's not the cheapest of recipes, this. And this is the confusing bit. And you need blood. Right, let's first of all, let's wait for this to smelt up a minute. Now, 
out of blood. Now, I haven't put this through in smoke test, so I'm not 100% sure on how you can exactly do this. I know, like in Direwolf 20, if you check out his videos in the server Let's Play, he's got this under, like, level the floor, and he's got a mob spawner, so they spawn by a fan from another mod, and they fall in there. But you have to have, this is a bug, but you've got to have some kind of liquid in here to get blood in the first place. This is why I'm putting him in first. Get the iron smelted. Now, I should... Now if you've got a jetpack and you know you've got a good armour, you don't mind breaking your damage in your armour. This is one way of getting blood. Not like it should. Oh no. Lag. I should have blood. There you go, no. Liquid. Pig iron. No. Just because the beauties are creative. We get a cow. That's my favourite victim. The big fat. With all the brilliant pin drops. Let's, let's shove some cows and see what happens. <laughs> this is what I don't get. That is killing him. Okay. Let's plug some. Let's get some cows in. <laughs> don't know how you get the drops out, but still. Yeah, I actually saying that I'll do a tutorial. When I've uploaded this video, give me a bit of time to do the next one, because it's going to take me a while to suss out. I know some words, but trust me, take me a while to suss out how to fully automate it. And I will have to start your mods to get that to work. Now you go in here. When the lag goes. Whoa, oh no, I'm clicking the wrong thing. And there we go, we've got a pig. We have some pig ingots. Brilliant. Let's just pop a bit more cows in there. That's fine. And I'd like to use up all those supplies in there. And say that. They just for a psych. Oh, those cows are dead. Okay, now. Go down here again. Now. We have our iron. We have our blood. We have pigging it now. We need more emeralds. Oh, I've got to go to a particular biome. It's a headache. Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. No, get a villager, a normal villager. Now, um, this is one thing I'll, I'll do on the last video. I think it'll be last video of how to get villagers into it. But just for example, get villagers, put them in here. Ignore the mods ones. Makes no difference. But we've got two tutorial in this too. This can help. I'm not too sure to show you some stuff about it. <laughs> I do love Minecraft. And you won't get this issue. 
That's a problem. I never thought of that. If you're wondering what a fire is, that means it's trying to it's trying to spawn mobs. I forgot so I've got a graveyard mod installed. That I'll have to automate. That I'll show you too. Back in a second guys, I killed this. They got the least sleek. That's that cleared up. Now as we're looking. Let's look in. <laughs> Let's look in the air. As you can see. I've got liquefied emeralds. And as you see it's not added to the blood. It's the same amount. Just to make sure. So the graveyards no. That's a problem. I w I won't be I won't pretend. I won't lie, but that is an issue with that mod installed. That is a serious problem. Really. That's just not good. Hmm. But there we go. Yeah, the bug still exists. See what I mean by you've got to have some kind of liquid in the bottom. Let's just put some gold in there. And yes, doing this again because I just know it, that you can't actually see that it did add it add emerald, not blood. So just to confirm what I'm telling you, so you know I'm not just rattling on the load of rubbish. Because I could be. I'm not, but I could be. People do do it. <coughs> Pardon me. See, green. That's enough. <laughs> No, not me. Let's get these graves again. And... Look for them emerald. Not much, but look for them emerald. And that's that. Now over here... food. I haven't got a clue how I'm going to make myself hungry. I'm going to stand you jumping up and down for five minutes. Right click up here to get your supplies. There you go. As you see you can eat that. And you can eat those too but I can't do anything about it. Don't tell you, that's a shame. Oh well. I'll let you master what the hunger is on those. The hunger refill is. And that's that. Now, oh yes, and there is more. I keep thinking it's time to move on to the last video, yeah, but there is more. Two seconds guys, lost track of Okay, I'm back guys. So there's so many cuts this video. Now let's destroy that. That's what I mean. Let's destroy. Dum 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 dum. Okay now. Let's destroy that. Put a new one in there. Just wondering when love is going to run out. But we're not, I just added more and more and more. Just while well over clicking, it wouldn't let you do that in survival. Okay, just because it doesn't show it here, 
it is actually here. Just some visual bug has been there like for nearly ever. Oh well, can't be out. These things happen. These things aren't easy. What's that? Okay, um now you get sand as we all know, smelting sand gives you glass. And tinkers Not that I'm just doing it wrong. Saying that. God, that's what I said a minute ago. There's a smelly controller in it. So it is guys. It's closed on it as I can't. Again. There we go. It's because the graveyard stuff is in there. Okay, so with that. Okay, put some sand in here. And with Tinker's construct you get clear glass. That's what we always let me over put the buckets in. Not because I'm creative, because they want register in it, right? There you go. You get clear glass, so I don't need to show you that. I just get it in here. With clear glass, you get oh, obviously that clear glass. Uh, yes. Back into decks. With clear glass, I'm saying is you get that, which is basically the same in vanilla, which is like that. Okay, back in a second. So now it does look better, doesn't it? And texture pack. So I did so many cuts there, but didn't know. Didn't realise it. I forgot about clear glass and texture and resource it. My texture pack, but there we go. That's clear glass. And with clear glass, you can make. Not that. You can make clear glass panes. Back in a second. I mean, we can't even talk in a minute. And when the rain's gone, we get clear glass panes. Personally, I hate panes. But if you like panes, there you go, clear glass panes. That's dodgy. But normally, obviously, you'd have it in something like that, say for. Let's pretend that didn't happen. But yeah, there's clear glass planes. Okay, whatever. But you've got clear glass blocks, and they're really nice looking, I think. Personally, ignoring the pains, <laughs> but yeah, and I do believe there's some recipes that you have to use to get clear glass pains. Now, and also you got this here, which I did see. Push recipe on that. Which is TNT and the sign bomb, and I bet I know what you all want me to do. So why not? Let's do it. Let's blow some up. Actually, let's do something for a minute. Let's come out of here. Go in here. Create a new world. In creative mode. Create a new world. No point in having something to blow something up if you can't blow something up. I mean, there's nothing to blow it up. That's a bit silly. I want to see the full effect of the explosion. How big a boom it's got.
Okay, now back in game. So it's a bit of lag at first. Let's see. Let's try some here. It's just for this big old tree here. Then daytime. And that's a Let's get away from that's quite dark. I don't like that. When you guys go to see. Let's do it here. Hmm. That's not very impressive, is it? But let's just try it. It's not that bad. There's only about one tree. That's right, actually. Don't know why it disappears when you do that. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. One last thing, we'll get back onto the tutorial. I could set these things up a lot better than this, but I'm not going to. That's not bad stuff. Yeah, it seemed better. There's a bunch of fantasy using that to regular TNT. A little bit bigger, I'd say. But oh well. Let's go back to the CK tutorial, which is completely spelled wrong, but oh well. At least the T's right. Then, if I didn't know tutorial Ginger T, I wouldn't be making a very good. Come back, guys. I'm sorry about what I've just happened, but I have looked and looked and looked, and I cannot find. A slime island, but what it is is up in the sky, like you see, you got your clouds from different mods. The true, I believe it is. You get up, you get these big round pl platforms, and all it is is now we're basically made of this. I'm a liar. This thing is right around. This on top of that. May float in the sky. With this stuff. This stuff. And somehow grass goes on top of it. I haven't got a clue how that spawns. Never tried building one before, but I really can't find one. Weird. Place one dirt, but I can't place one that. That's mad. Because it didn't what it grows on for. Ah, and that's it. I get it, so. Is that that? Then it's this. It might be the other way around, but. Then on top of that, you get your trees, your grass. And the monks all that. You get a little pool, so I do a very big one. You don't smaller than there is normally. So we're doing it this way. You get this stuff here. Yeah, pulls that. And that's that makes all 
Make blue slime spawn. Wherever you see this stuff, blue slime spawn. Okay. If you want another mod installed, you've got another liquid. Looks similar. Push your num lock. If you want it turned off, push number one key and it will show you. If you've got Wayler installed, to turn it off again, push one on the numpad and it's turning your num lock off. Okay. That's that and do B O N E. Hopefully, this works. Can I do it that way? Yeah, weird. Done somewhere in bone mill there. Just gone blind, getting tired. That's a ridiculous amount. And that's what they look like. That's your slime tree. And that's basically what you get floating in the sky. Okay. And these, and these. I mean, these. Very interesting. You can bounce on them. Boing, boing. When you don't kill yourself. And these. You can bounce on too. How many bounces can you do before? Angry bird. Bouncy so. <laughs> Being silly there, but there we go. And the recipe for those is four grand of slime, which is dropped by the slime to show you. And that is four slime balls. And the grass, I don't know if you can make it. No, you can't. So you need silk touch to pick that up. And that's your slime islands. I'm not sure, and then is this a pig iron shard? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point. And then also, when you're smelting stuff up, you know, you get in the. Uh, oh, that's what I'm gonna do now. You get shards sometimes left over, which are little bits left over from your ore, like these here. And they're like 0 0.5s, you hover over these things. If you show like that, takes 8 ingots. That's 3. That's 0 0.5. But if you put in here, well, if you put, I oh know, yeah, yeah, I can do it that way. That's the easy way to show you. Get an iron ingot. I say iron because it's vanilla. Pop that in there. Click that when there's gold in there. Or the other substance, you can get yourself an ingot cast, which then you can put materials in. Obviously, I can't put glass in it, and that's a way of getting out naught points. So you can put it in there, and so if you haven't got enough, smart way to get some more bits and do it, and you can build it all up and put it into your nuggets when it doesn't lag with help. That's that. Scared bricks, sheared bricks, I mean, uh, it's crafting station, oil stage panel, which is clear glass around the die. You get your barricades, saying that. Your barricades are basically, say, for example, not that horrible stuff. You get some spruce wood, go to your Crafting table, that's not a crafting table. Stick them in there. Okay. Up that, you don't do that at all. That would never work. <laughs> okay, you get your wood. <laughs> you put some logs in there, you put logs in there, and you get like that, and you get these. These are barriers. I I think it's stupid first, you know. Dungeon paper, that's not a barrier. I am put I didn't know you could do that actually. So if you've done this though guys this is actually quite interesting. Fiddly use, to be honest. Oh, I could 
and uh, give me fences, I say. That's annoying. Only because I'm allowing it to be. Well, go like that. My opinions on that doesn't really matter. And I suppose it's a barrier. Yeah. Nope. There. But that's a stupid barrier for you. I don't see a point personally when you can just go F E grab some fence, not being funny to the model for there you go. I can't jump over it. That was a barrier after mob can jump over it. Mobs love to jump. We all know that. So it doesn't show how that's gonna barrier your base from the mobs and they can jump over it. So is it a barrier but That doesn't really matter. That's bugging me. Now, anything else we have got to discuss? I think, apart from that, you get Ardite and Cobalt. Ammonite, Ammonite, pink stuff. You get Cobalt, Cobalt you use to get um, Ardite, and they're all in the Nether. Obsidian brick recipe. That that you get a chisel, which you can make like obviously via like so you tools you just choose chisel. But you said you know you can do it with other bricks, as you can see here. Oh, and also that you get sheared glass when I think about it. First recipe, sheared bricks there. Your glass. Get your sheared glass. And if you want to go flashy. I'll have to up here because I don't want to design my things. Because I don't use this stuff. Then you can put these here. Then you can see what you're smelting. So then when you do things like this. Then you can watch it go down. Weird. Don't push that there. That can make things go. Well. What the heck happened here? Wow. That's what they do. Ignore any problems I'm having. It isn't the Modolfa's fault. I know it's a good working mod. And I can almost I can nearly guarantee you it's not the version of the mod that's doing that. I see that's the mod pack. But I can all those little problems I just got. Normally it works fine. And that's that. Now you get these here, which is a glass block of that. Sorry if you didn't see that. Put glass around in a square, put your coloured dye in it, or put it beside some clear glass. There's your clear glass recipe. Same in the other one a bit. And the tools and all parts and all that I showed you. That's it. So, I'll go for now and I'll see you guys again when I've just discovered how to fully automate everything with this. Putting it in, putting it out, storing it here, storing it in there. Maybe even crafting tools, I'm not sure. But I'll see you guys for now. Guys for now. And I'll come back with my final part, but it might take me a while, and I mean a while. So, I'll see you to then. Bye for now.